How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Atticus Dini channel. It's been a while, but we're back with another CD unboxing. Today, we have this. I was lucky enough to get, I think it was the last, um, like size of the Brockhampton box set for the new album Roadrunner. We're outside today, so there's gonna be a lot of background noise. Sorry about that. The lighting was just too good to resist. I'm about to unbox this. I didn't open this. My parents opened it by accident. I'm excited for this. I know this is like an exclusive item, so I'm excited to see what else is in here too. I know there's like a shirt. Oh, I can see the words right there. Okay, here we go. Yo! Oh my god, I did not know it was that big. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, look at how this is like shimmering in the light too. This is insane. I did not think it was this big. Shoot, this is making me... Dang. New machine. Oh, it's dented. It's dented, bruh. Hey, Joba on the back. This is crazy. I did not think it was this big of a thing. New light machine this box is making me want to like keep it dead stock oh my god i want to keep this dead stock now i did not think it was gonna be this crazy i really don't want to open this now <sighs> wow i'm gonna have to like take a second think about this because i do want to see what's inside like i want my cd and i want to listen to the bonus tracks but this is like a full-on like box like i mean mine is kind of dented but this is the type of thing where if i kept this in its wrap this might be worth something in the future, especially since these are pretty limited. It's kind of a flimsy box, but it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, let me pause the camera. Dang. Okay, so I think I've made my decision. In the past, I've bought a Frank Ocean Blonde CD. I've bought the Endless Frank Ocean CD. I bought the Travis Scott like Night Mode um, Astro World CD. I think I'm gonna open this. Like. For real, am I actually gonna wanna sell this? That's the thing. Like, it's definitely cool to have something that will have worth to it in the future, probably. But, like, in the long run, I'm gonna rather have this opened and, like, have used it and listened to it. I don't know. I think it'd be cool to just have it. Here we go. This is a little bit bittersweet, but we're about to open this thing up. Okay, the damage has been done. The wrap is broken. New light, new machine. Yeah, and the box is kind of scuffed, let's be honest. I'm gonna open it from the new machine side. Careful not to rip anything. And here are the contents. That's it. Nice. And now, let's see, we got the CD right here. This is the cover that's on Spotify, and I don't know if they're selling like this CD like with this cover right now. I know they sold a lot of other CDs with uh, each member This is like the album cover on Spotify and stuff It actually is a picture of the CD and all and then we also have this shirt This shirt is kind of an L because it's a small this was the only size left when I bought it I'm gonna try and put it on if like or I might actually keep this Yeah, honestly, I might keep this Wrapped now that I think about it since this is wrapped. I might keep this wrapped for now I'm not gonna open it. I can put a picture of what it is but I just know it's not gonna fit me. Like it's a small. I'm I'm six foot. It's not it's not gonna fit me. I do definitely want to open this CD though. Let me get a thumbnail real quick though. Okay, thumbnail is good. I'm sorry about the cars, guys. I just really wanted to do this outside because it's so nice today. Shoot, I don't wanna Oh, cool. That's on the case too. Amazing. I was gonna say I don't wanna rip that little sticker. Amazing. Road Runner. This was a good album. I might try and listen to these bonus tracks before I put out the unboxing and I can give you guys a little rundown. So we, with the bonus tracks, the light part two is the final track on the Spotify version. Bonus tracks, Roberto's interlude, Jeremiah, Sex, and Pressure slash Bow Wow featuring, does that say SSG Kobe? Huh, never heard of him. I think I have heard of him like once. Maybe it was because of this album. Let's see, let's get this focus and we about to open this up. Hey, nice. CD looks cool. Got the RCA on there, RR for Roadrunner. Let's pull this out, very cool. Brockhampton always comes through with the visuals. Um, HK does an amazing job with that kind of stuff. This booklet, it feels very small. It is very small. This is the only thing in there. We got the boys and it says light over the way. Shoot, I wanted the credits. Whatever, the credits are probably online somewhere. Maybe it says in there. For full credits and liner notes, brockhampton.com slash roadrunner. If you guys wanna check out those credits cause I can't show you on here, make sure to check out that website. Yeah, this is just the, the back. We got all these little logos for Brockhampton. Executive producer, Kevin Abstract. Co-executive producer, Ramil. Recorded at Coyote Blue Studios, question everything. The light is worth the wait, I promise. So far, it's been an awesome album. I've been enjoying it. I'll listen to these tracks. I'm gonna go put this into my CD player probably in a little bit. 
Okay guys, so I just listened to these bonus tracks um, and my first impression is that they are most definitely bonus tracks. First of all, they didn't really sound like they fit that much with the rest of the album, especially with like the lyrical content. One of the songs was definitely like the most like outwardly like sexual like I've ever heard Brockhampton be on a song. I mean, it was called it was called Sex, so I mean, I probably should have expected, but the first song was just an interlude with Roberto talking and some cool stuff in the background. The next song, Jeremiah had like some cool guitar and stuff, but honestly, it did seem a little bit basic hip hoppy. Like a lot of the vocals were pitched on that one. That one I didn't think was anything really special. They had some kind of simpler like more mainstream basic hip hop on the album sounds like count on me and like uh i guess bankroll kinda but this song just wasn't as interesting in the, as those and then sex and the pressure both kind of were like g-funkish they had that high pitch synth that a lot of g-funk stuff does and i know they had stated g-funk as a big inspiration for some of this album again they honestly were just kind of annoying sometimes i mean maybe though maybe i think pressure could grow on me i think merlin is the one who can pull off that stuff the best and he's the one who can pull off like the sexual stuff the best too i think but i think the best part was uh the second half of pressured slash bow wow the bow wow part because kevin had a good hook about used to dress like bow wow or something like that but that part was cool the beat in that was less annoying than the other ones and the feature I didn't actually know where the few, I feel like he either came up twice or like I just thought he was one of the earlier guys too on that song. Overall, they definitely were not as good as any of the songs on the album. I thought maybe the Bow Wow part was up, like that part could have been on there, but they felt like bonus tracks. They felt like them just kind of playing around. But I mean, I'm not mad. Like it still is interesting to have them. I'm glad I have them on a CD. I wish I could play them, but I'm pretty sure anytime you play Brockhampton on YouTube, your video just gets automatically like blocked. Like I've done some live streams on my other channel. And when I play Brockhampton, like the, the live stream gets taken down. So I'm not taking any risks and playing Brockhampton in this. I'm sure you can find them somewhere. Um, it's fun to listen to these tracks, fun to have the CD. Um, I hope some of you guys got it too, or some of the other like member, single member CDs. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in again for 